I got your big man. Yeah. I got your big man. Giuseppe Killer killed a kick. Now they dead stop. Killing with my lyrics. Pencil, pistol, watch this lead pop. Chin chilling in the casa with my rosters on a Sunday. Mocha money movement. Money gets a moving on a Monday. Ill is thing. Walking, talking, paper stalking. Bitches pillow talking. Walkie talking. Check steady. Bouncing all you bitches. Frauding. You catch L after L after L. Like it's your turn to spark and flow. Now shit's keep a cotton. L for all that shit. Talking. You a beginner, but I've been a winner. Cause winners just focus on winning. She a wanna be, wanna be, wanna meet. I had to tell that little bit we. What's the deal? It's your boy, boy, man, man. What he said, you know where I'm at, you know what it is. Powers in the street, home with new music, entertainment. I am in the building with a young and up and coming, phenomenal individual who is more than just an actress, but is extremely talented. And I'm honored to have her here today with me. Uh, she goes by the name, well, her professional name on camera is Imani Lewis, but the uh, rap world knows her, or the hip-hop world knows her, rather, as AKA Mocha Bear. Mm -hmm. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Not a problem, not a problem. So, let me jump right in. Where are you from? I'm from Southside, Jamaica, Queens. A born and raised. QB. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what inspired you to start doing this kind of work as far as, um, well, let's touch... You know, let's touch on the let's touch on the acting you've been doing. Mm -hmm. um, how old are you now? I'm 18 now. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know too many. Well, you know, one of my good friends is Michael Rainey. So okay. you know, he plays on Power. I know you're talking about yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I love to see young people doing their thing. Yeah. You know, so it's just amazing to hear 18. Yeah. Years old. <laughs> so let's let's touch on um, what I remember you from. I know you from two particular shows. You might have been in some other things. So excuse me if I don't remember. Mm -hmm. But the Get Down. Yeah. How did that happen? Um, I was performing, I think, at SOB's in the city, you know that club mm -hmm. in the city? So I was performing, and um, there was a guy in the crowd from a talent agency. So he saw my performance at that, or I think he saw a video from that performance. So he called my manager and was like, um, you know, she's very charismatic, you know, we want her to come into the agency, you know, have an audition. So we have some auditions lined up for her. So we're like, at first I'm like acting, like I'm not an, I'm not an actress, I don't know what made you think that, but it was like, no, you know, just give it a try, you know, so I didn't want to shoot it down. So I went in and I did the audition, um, it was for a, a rapper, but I don't think they kept that character. So they called me back for a second audition and I ended up landing the role for Tanya. Which is the, so you was like the Zulu nation yeah, queen or something Zulu like queen. that. Yeah, I was the Zulu queen, yeah. So what was the, I mean, because I'm, naturally I'm not a sister, I don't know. I imagine they had a couple of the uh, le hip hop legends around to yeah. help guide them through this process. Did mm -hmm. you get to meet any of those legends? Um, Raheem was there. He helped with a lot of the um, like deliverance, like when it comes to like the rappers and stuff like that. Um, I didn't get to meet Nas. So heartbroken that I did not get to meet. Yeah, because that was actually his own yeah. big project. Yeah, I didn't get the chance to meet him, but um, most of the celebrities that I met was like through the cast and like directors and stuff. And what was that experience like? Oh, it was amazing. At first, you know, I felt like kind of an oddball because I've never been in a, a set like that. And um, I felt a little inexperienced compared to the other actors that was there because I knew them from previous films and, like, television shows. So I felt a little out of place, but then I feel like I'm an artist. So I love all kinds of different forms of art, whether it be acting or rapping or singing mm -hmm. or literary, all that. So I felt like I was, like, home, you know? Gotcha, because you played the hell out there. Uh -huh. I was like, yo... So, because when I, when I actually, when I met your manager, mm -hmm. she said, oh, she's done this, she's done that. Mm -hmm. so, she, so when she said the get down, I was like, I watched all the get down. Yeah. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. I was like, you told me somebody was like standing there? Or you told me, she was like, nah. And, yeah. and I looked and I was like, and, I, and your character, the minute she said it, I was like, yeah, I remember mm -hmm. that character. I was like, really? Mm -hmm. I mean, once I saw that, I was like, we got to get her. I, I just know way. I, I got to talk to this way <laughs> and find Because you, you did a great job Thank with that. Thank you so um, much. So, you know, so what do you think about acting now? Oh, I'm... I've become way more comfortable now okay. that I've, um, you know, I, I think it was just getting past the don't worry about what other people are doing, don't worry about you, you know, and don't feel um, intimidated by people who have a little bit more experience than you because they started from somewhere too. That, and again, I have a love for all art, so through my experience, I gained so much more comfort and so much more, like, knowledge about what it is to be an actress mm -hmm. and what it takes to, like, complete a scene. It's all about character and bringing that character out of yourself. The same way in music, you're bringing another character out of yourself when you're rapping or when you're singing. You know? So it's a great experience. That's what's up. Yeah, to get down is, are, are there anything else to come? Did they talk about a new version? Of no, that we were hoping, but that was it. Yeah, it's done. 
Oh, no man, more. that was a good run. Man. I know. But um, jumping from there, so how did you wind up on Stars? Because then I looked at Stars and I was like, not the same girl. Because yeah. you look different. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? The way the cameras make you look, yeah. you look different. Yeah. So even when they told me that you was on Stars, I was like, damn, she got that role too? Yeah. I just watched the last episode. Mm -hmm. um, I do have a question for you. Mm -hmm. but, you know, you are 18, right? So mm -hmm. you can answer. All right. Okay. Uh, what is it like being on Stars, though? Oh, it's so great. The cast treated me like family immediately. Um, it was a little weird for me at first because I had never played a role like that, you know, and I had never played a role where I had to come off so much more like, um, I don't want to say aggressive, but a lot meaner, you know. Being that Karen, my character's name, is in a juvenile detention, you know, I had to bring a whole, I had to bring a lot of South Side out of me, if that makes more sense. Like, I no, it does. More, I yeah. mean... When I was younger, I was in Spotford, I was in all that, so I yeah. understand exactly what you're talking about, mm -hmm. being in a residential center. Well, you know, that's more of a secure for juvenile delinquents. Yeah. In New York, it used to be Spotford, and then when I was younger, all of the kids from every borough yeah. had to go to this place in the Bronx called Spotford. So, yeah. I remember Brooklyn always had the biggest table. Yeah. Queens had a couple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I know, it, I think being I think being in a, that kind of, you have to become somebody different. Yeah. So, I guess that's what's intriguing. Did you ever have to go through the system or anything like that, or was... But look, how was your upbringing? Coming out of Queens, I, I feel you, but did you yeah. ever have to, did you ever get locked up? And oh, no. Like that? No, like, that's the thing. And I make that very clear in a lot of my music that um I didn't have to do a lot of the things that, you know, people that grew up in my environment had to do to survive. <laughs> um, I'm not saying I came from nothing, but I didn't come from, you know, like no silver spoon, you know. Like, I started working when I was 14 years old. Um, I've been making music since I was 11. So started working at 14 years old and kept that job for four years. My senior year, I was working two jobs and I was shooting the get down, and I was finishing my senior year. So I've always been like a hard worker, like, and I think that is what um fueled me to like open up into so many bigger things. Cause I know that there's so much more than just Southside Jamaica Queens. Like there's so much more to the world than just Queens. Let me ask you this, mm -hmm. um, and I've asked a couple of actions. Uh, mm -hmm. In the scene, you have you you kind of in love with I forget the girl's name Simone. Simone. So mm -hmm. you and her form this relationship. Mm -hmm. How easy if easy for you is it to portray that role? Is that something that's real for you, or is this something that they that you had to turn on to become? Like when you, mm -hmm. when you read that part, like what were your thoughts? Well, I had to tell myself like it's all just acting. It's not like I went home after a scene of us kissing and thought, mm -hmm. rethink my life. You know, like I I didn't I just reminded myself like this is work. Um, I get a check from this. You know, this is me coming in. It's like a nine to five. Like, you just come in, you do what you got to do, and you go home the same person. A little bit more experienced and a little bit more well versed, but it's just acting. Gotcha. The reason I asked you is because you handled it well. Mm -hmm. Like, you can see on the camera. But if it's natural for you, then it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. When it's not natural for you, it's the biggest challenge. Yeah. You know, um, what I've learned, I've had, I've been on a couple of sets and I've watched actors and they've had these sex scenes. And it's weird because, and tell me if I'm incorrect, mm -hmm. it's like 80 or 100 people standing there yeah. watching. <laughs> it's like 30 and I'm talking about like, what you had was a smooth, smooth, but there's yeah. like these intense scenes. Yeah. And it's like, I couldn't, and I'm like, how can you, and these people got to turn on, and then they go, no, nah, no, nah, we got to do it again. Take what, take, and I'm like, yeah. no, they got to actually turn yeah, these emotions really on and off. Yeah, it's really, really, really funny because we'll have a scene where it's like, we're so serious. Like, I think it was the second episode. I had to fight a girl that was my best friend on the show. Mm -hmm. But like in that scene, you would think that there's so much tension between us. But really, we laughed right after the scene. Like in the scene, you're thinking, "Damn, she really just got beat up." But it's like, we're laughing about cats and all kind of other foolishness, you know. Like right after the scene, like we all kept it very professional. And um, I think that's why we work so well together because we all knew like this is just a job, you know. And great friendships and relationships were built. From like working on set together, we just know I mean, the material. You are yeah. definitely handling. It. Like I, I deal with a lot of actors. Yeah. You see on my gram, there's tons of mm -hmm. major people that, and you handle it well. You Thank handle you. it well. I'm wishing you the best on the acting perspective. Thank so, are there any other projects that we should be looking out for you as it relates to your acting career, or is that on hold, or like what's the? Yeah, I'm still continuing to take auditions and stuff like that, and um for other roles, hopefully bigger roles, leading roles, because I feel like a lot of my roles. They haven't been very small enough to get recognition from, but I'm trying to go big and better. I don't want to just be like the small. So how do you, all right, so I, before we go into the, the next aspect of this interview, how is it, like, I know when your friends saw you on stage, like, did you yeah. tell, like, did you tell people, yo, I'm doing this movie, or did you keep it to yourself, let it drop, yeah. and then kind of let it marinate? Like, I how did that? I kept it to myself as much as I could. It was just a little weird that my friends would call me, and they'd be like, oh, I'm coming over. I'm like, oh, I'm in Atlanta. They're like, girl, what are you doing in Atlanta? I'm like, oh, I'm filming. 
They're like, what the, like, why you ain't saying nothing? I'll tell them, like, oh, yeah, I'm filming for this show, a star. You know? They're like, star, I watch star. Like, why didn't you tell me that you were filming for star? You know, I didn't, I don't like to force feed myself to people and, like, push myself down their throats. Like, well, how many people got I'm from star? Oh, and I was going to get down. You know, like, I don't push myself like that. Like, if you know, you know. If not, I'm more than happy to tell you. But a lot of my friends were really, really, really excited. So what was school like? Because you were, you still, you were still, you were, you, yeah, when I was still for the get down, I was still in school. You were still in school. So you were in school, going to school, mm -hmm. graduated, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is college looking like for you? Um, I got accepted into a lot of colleges, a lot of uh, good CUNYs and stuff like that. Um, it's just I didn't want to fully dedicate myself to something like that, and then boom, something like Star happened where I have to leave every other week, and then I can't fully dedicate myself to that education. I, of course, I have so many aspirations to go to college, get a degree in business and management, um, accounting, marketing. There's so much more that I want to learn, but I couldn't commit myself to that because I was always out of the state super quick. And I know that not a lot of professors, the same way not a lot of managers, you know, bosses are understanding of that situation. You know, you constantly having to leave because you're trying to pursue something different from what you're dedicated to. Understood, understood. So, we talked about Imani Lewis, what yeah. she's doing. I'm more interested now in what Mocha Bands is doing. Uh -huh. So let's talk about Mocha Bands. Okay, the, Mocha oh, Bands. The other side of things. Yeah, Mocha Bands. Tell me about tell me about the music world and how you, I know that you said you've been doing, you've been doing like music since, since you were 11. 11. Yeah. So who were some of the artists that inspired you? to be, that say, you know, that, wow, what I really want to be a, a, a hip-hop artist. Oh, there's a lot of artists. I would say like Nas, Busta Rhymes, Jay, um, oh, God, those goes on and on. Definitely M, Lauren Hill, that, oh, God, like, I don't even think I would know what to do with them. Um, I'm inspired by upcoming artists, artists that were writing at the same time, same time I was writing, you know, I feel like Anybody who has some kind of story to them, and like, it doesn't have to be like the worst story, like, I came from the slums and this and that, even if you just have a dream and you're aspiring to be something greater, you know, then I'm inspired by you. I'm inspired by this room, you know, like, I'm always inspired. That's what's up, that's what's up. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so we're going 11, these are the people that inspired you. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the, uh, uh, what's the EP you got? The now? Year of Mocha. The Year of Mocha, mm -hmm. that's what I want to know about. What's going on with that? Okay, so in the year of Mocha, um, that came out, I would say, like, mid-August. Um, so 2017? Yeah, 2017. Okay, so it's just recently dropped. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I feel like that whole project just captures so many different sides of myself. It's, it's talking about so many different things, like about me personally, what I've watched, um, others' experience that are close to me. I touch on a situation with a lot of people that I came up with, and... Um, I make sure to touch on like the other side of the fence where everybody sees that, oh my God, you're on TV, like it must be so great. But then I make sure to tell you, like, it sucks when your friend's birthday is right around the corner and they call you like, so are you coming? And I really don't have an answer for them. You know, like um, a lot of my best friends, you know, they're like, you know, let's party, let's do all these other things that regular teenage girls do. But I don't have that same luxury, you know, so I speak on that. I speak on what it's like to not be able to answer the phone because I'm at rehearsal and you know, I want to be able to reap the benefits with these people, but they have to let me work, you know? Um, I touch on what it's like being a female and growing up as a teenager and, like, people not taking you serious as a female rapper because females... The rap industry is a very male-driven industry. It is. So to be 18 and a female and um, trying to pursue what I'm trying to pursue, of course you're going to get a lot of, oh, she's cute. Like, you know, she's just cute. I was like, little mama, like, you know, you do, like, lip gloss. And I'm, like, I have to explain to them, like, I'm completely, some, I'm something completely different from what you've heard, you know. So I touch on all that. A lot of personal, a lot of um, party-like feels because, you know, you have to appeal. Um, I touch on everything. It's just a, it's a project where you get to lot and know about who Mocha Bands is. So let me ask you, um, who the artists you want to work with? Who would you love to collab with right now? Artists I'd love to work with. Oh, Kendrick. Kendrick. I was well inspired by him too. My senior year, I wrote a five page autoethnography about Damn because really? I loved it that much. Every day I listened to Damn. Did you send it to him? Oh, no. No. Show sure, some it to him. I know. I'm like, yo, that might have got you the record, right? You can still send it to him. You still I mean, kind of, yeah, I'm thinking. You should, I mean, you know. So yeah. your team be like, yo, get this to him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I'm very, very, very inspired by him. Like he's a very, very dope artist because he brings back what hip hop is about. You know, it's it's about the wordplay and the, the the similes and the metaphors and the alliteration and the 
having to rewind it like what wait, what what he said like and then you get it and it's like oh shit, like, that was dope like i feel like i live for stuff like that and with him i had a lot of that so i would definitely want to work with him that's dope that's dope so what do you let me ask you a question have you ever thought because you have an aggressive style yeah you have a real aggressive style mm -hmm. and, and my team feels like yo what about because um you kind of remind me of bonnie you know bonnie the yeah yeah you, you've heard that yeah, before? Bonnie, yeah. yeah, so, you know, I'm real cool with Bonnie. She's one of my homies. She's very um, talented. Um, you have that kind of battle rap in you. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about, yeah. like, getting in the ring and mm -hmm. doing the battle rap thing? I get that a lot. Um, I'm, I'm not opposed to anything, you know. If I ever get the opportunity, I'm not going to turn it down. But that's not something that I would want to, like, like, that's what I want to do. Mainly because, like, I feel like I could do the battle rap thing, but a lot of battle rappers don't know how to make, like, songs and a lot of... Um, artists that make songs have a hard time with battle rap. I'm not saying I'm either, but um, I don't know. And it's also the thing of everybody like this. And yeah, I don't know. I'm from Southside, so I don't, I don't do all this. Like, but that's what I'm saying. The ring is full of aggression yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah, you know, or if it's like a actual one on one thing like that, like you're talking to, you know, like I, that's what a lot of the. Yeah, I just saw that yeah. right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looked like it looked like turn up time right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So. I, I don't know, man. I, I think you should try it, though. You I think you should try the battle app just to see. I, you know what it is? I think that it's, it's good to polish up the skill. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's good to polish up the skills. Because now, there's some women that are going at the dudes. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah. I've mean? heard something crazy. So, I, I get that. But, um, yeah, I feel like women should be more than excited to step to a dude and say, I'm nicer than you. Because, okay. I get about it. So, let me ask you. You know some kind of old beef. Mm -hmm. Remy and Nikki. Mm -hmm. What you think? I think if everybody thought that was a problem, we could have hit me. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how I feel. Huh? I hear you talking. Yeah. That's so how what I do you think, think about Little Kim um, and the, uh, what's the collab Little Kim has with um, Remy? With Remy? What do you mm -hmm. think about that collab? Oh, we were just listening to it. I think it's so dope because I love Remy. I love all female rappers. Like, I push all female rappers out. What about Cardi? I, I bang with Cardi too. You know what it is? I think I love her so, like, personally. Like, I love her personality because that's real. Like, I feel like I've been watching her videos for a long time. So I feel like a real respect, real. So I'm always going to respect her grind, how she came up, you know, how she do what she had to do. I feel like I can relate to that. Like, you got to do what you got to do. And a lot of people are not going to take you serious. But it's up to you to prove them wrong. Right. So, what do we need to know about Mocha Band and her music? What do you see yourself five years from? Five as it relates years to music. from now, um, as it relates to music, I just want to continue to grow, continue to progress, um, hopefully get to work with other experienced artists, and hopefully I'll get to be speaking to a wider spectrum of people, not just New York, not just Queens. Like, I want to be bigger than life. I don't want to just be a rapper. I don't want to just be an actress. I want to be bigger than life, like a mogul, start branching out in branding, marketing, all kind of stuff. Like, I have a lot of big aspirations for myself. So, on um, the music you're doing, any special producers that we should be looking at? Yeah, S5 Everything, that's my producer. He is phenomenal. Like, so you're working with one producer right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are yeah. you open to working with other producers, or you just want to stick with this one producer? Um, I guess if the opportunity arises, that's something that I'll discuss with my producer and with my management team, and uh, I guess we'll work from there. But. That's what I've been working on. So the reason I bring that up is because mm -hmm. uh, November 28th, is it November 28th? 28th. Okay, so November 28th, you're going to be performing at Powell's Industry Showcase. That's coming up. And that's going to be hosted nationally. Powell 105, DJ Ram and myself are going to be hosting the event. Mm -hmm. But that's going to be with multi platinum producer Amadeus. Mm -hmm. Did you have a chance to, did your team brief you on who he is? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, so Amadeus is produced for over 90 artists, 50, GZ, Fabulous, mm -hmm. he did J-Lo's album, Justin mm -hmm. Bieber's album, yeah. Keisha Cole, Neo, The Game, Wale, YG, mm -hmm. and, you know, <laughs> pretty much it. If you ever see Trey Songz, he's Trey Songz music director. So he's going to be in the building. That's why I'm asking you, because yeah. he's one of them dudes that if he likes you, it yeah. might take you to another spot as far as music is related. Yeah. So, you know, that's why, you know, as a, as an up-and-coming artist, you got to be prepared. Like, you know, there's going to be yeah. people that come at you like, yo, let's, you know, so I'm curious to know, is it you plan to say you're going to be turning people down or you, you open to working with other producers? Yeah. That's, that's where the real question comes from. Mm -hmm. Somebody with a resume like that come at you and say, yeah. I'm going to work. Mm -hmm. 
you gonna shut them down or you, what you no, gonna do? Again, it's not just me. You know, it's not just me by myself jumping into the water and jumping into this industry. I have a great, great, strong-minded team. Like without a team, without people to keep you the course, you're gonna fall through the cracks. So I have a great team that um, we sit and we discuss and we make sure we're always on the same page about things like that. So if the opportunity does bring us up and it seems like a beneficial opportunity, you know that's something that we'll discuss and then we'll move from that. Okay. Some people they just like, yo, I'm gonna do that. Some people are like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. So that's why I kind of asked. I wanted to see where your head was at as yeah. far as the music is concerned. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what else are we looking at for Mocha, man? Like, what are we leaving out here? Because um, I feel like you got a lot to say about this music thing. So, yeah. and I'm impressed because you're only 18. Yeah. So you're young. Yeah. And, you know, you recognize history. Yeah. And I think I think we're gonna have you. Got, I think we're gonna drop something for us in the booth, right? Mm -hmm. I definitely gotta have you do that before yeah. you walk out of here. So we're gonna we're gonna definitely get in it. But what what is really what what does Mocha really want to show the world? Mocha wants to show the world that just because you're young doesn't mean that and that you can't succeed. And just because you came from a place where it doesn't seem like many opportunities shine, that doesn't mean that you have to stay there. Like, if you're in the hood, you can get out, you know? Like, um, if you have a dream, chase that. And there's gonna be so many people that are gonna tell you that you can't do it, and that you're not good enough, and that, you know, um, and even in the acting thing, you know, there's always somebody prettier, taller, better skin, you know, there's always somebody better, but you have to focus on being the best you. And that's something that I want to push out to all the people that listen to my music. Like, I'm not saying I'm the nicest on the planet, but you know what? When I look myself in the mirror, I tell myself, like, you're dope as hell. Ain't nobody telling you different. I hate you. But you mm -hmm. said something earlier. Mm -hmm. you was like, if I think they dope, wait till I hear Mocha Band. Yeah. So, I mean, you put, like, you compare yourself to some, some real heavy hitters, man. Mm -hmm. So now that you've said that and it goes on camera, you got to be able to live up to that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, you know what? I think what we need to do is we just need to go straight to the booth, man, and get into this. Man. Get into but before we do that, I want you to let everybody know how they can reach you, Instagram, Twitter, all of that. If somebody wants to book you for something, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Let the people know real quick, man. Uh, Instagram is Mocha Bands, M-O-C-H-A-B-A-N-D-S, no underscores, no spaces. Twitter is Mocha Bands, Facebook, Mocha Bands, um, SoundCloud, Mocha Bands. Everything Mocha Bands on all social media websites. You know what it is? Powers Industry, home of new music and hip hop, entertainment, all that. We about to go straight to the booth, man. We gonna see what this young lady got, man. We out. Set you free, nigga. The truth. Every time I step in the booth, I speak the truth. Y'all know what I'm bringing to you. I bring the truth. Motherfuckers know who I be. I be the truth when I speak. So set you free, nigga. The truth. Nigga. What's the deal? It's your boy, boy, I'm in, man, what he said. You know where I'm at. You know what it is. Powers Industry, New York's number one hip-hop and R&B showcase. I'm with new and up-and-coming talent, Mocha Benz, man. It's crazy right now. You know what? I've been hearing that you can spit that fire. I heard mm -hmm. all these other older rappers need to retire. Uh -huh. So um, we're going to see what you got, man. You know what? Let me get out the way so you can do what you got to do. Uh, Mocha Benz, yo. Turn me up a little bit. Yeah. Perfect. Yo. To get on my level, you gon' have to climb a high fence. Get that cash, then I dash like a high fence. Send that heat to your chest, change your body temp. Like who's vexed? Who the fuck I got a body next? All my problems work out, that's exercise. For the bitches that's extra salty, I got extra fries. Since five, I've been a ten, that's an extra five. Doing it big, had to three extra size. Re up on new coops, that's recuperation. Think you hot with them chains and my goons are taken. Cause yo. Everybody jacking they a trap star But you just a runner, you a track star Niggas probably ain't even get my last bar But it's the silly niggas that I rap for Uh-huh, they all dumb out Hunters coming out the bank, you can't get a one out uh, The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice, right? The dark of the past, the bright of the future The longer you stash, the longer the cash These hoes broke, got me yelling, yo, what's wrong with your cash? Broke like cheap pills, careers like steep hills Steady dream chasing, that's word to Meek Mills Haters can eat pills, that's filled with NyQuil Had to shake the bed, cause niggas is sleep still And I trap and fill for them racks and bills So it's only right, my pearly whites got caps and grills 
skills If I don't have my weight Then I'ma have to drill I'm popping like a molly hole You ain't even have to pill Eat great with my team Then we have to build They call me Little Clinton Cause I go after bills Lyrics food for the soul So bitches grabbing their dentures Time is money I don't got time to train bitches Fuck I look like chilling with some lame bitches Mint condition The clothes they stay vintage I'm ballin' like Michael taught me Your Michael's just frame pictures I'm talking about the game winner I'm a brain digger You could keep the gold I set goals and aim bigger Ain't stopping till I got eight figures Pimp pinky rings looking like I got eight fingers Hoes hate to see you shine So they stay blinking Made plans with your nigga But I ain't linking Penny for your thoughts Whole word to Abe Lincoln Cause my chocolate skin Look better with a chocolate mint Told them cough up the cash No lozenges I cop the pen Then I started copping Yang you pop the end Catch me where the top begins Nigga Let's keep them beats going Let's keep it going Listen I'ma sing to these niggas y'all Yo I was born this way, I'm a monster, feel like Lady Gaga Summertime vacay, sending my Balenciagas Life is a movie, ain't no sequel, but there's a saga Singing on the track like A Boogie, na 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 I go ape on the beat, go banana na 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 Spitting heat on the beat, turn the stew into a sauna Killing trends till they end, told the trash bag your gear Killed the competition, that's another fucking tattoo Hold on Woo, that's it, that's it, yo It's over, Powers Energy, the exclusive You know what it is, Mocha Fence, look out